everyone, it's Caitlin Cahill, The Geek You Need. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use the hoodie template for an all over print, print full hoodie um, that I have available in my store, which I'll link in the description. If you don't already have this uh, template, I also have a video that shows you how to make a template if you'd rather do it yourself, which I'll also link in the description. Uh, so to begin with, you're going to want to open the hoodie front pocket template that came in the zip folder that you downloaded from my website. And then on the layers panel, you're going to want to double click on this smart object here. Now this file is the front of the template. Uh, the first one was the pocket. So this is the front, the one you just opened. Now there's two different options. You can, if you want to, you can place your artwork right inside this group here um, and that'll save it and it'll work just fine. Uh, but I would actually recommend um, going one more smart object in. Um, as you can see, there's two copies of this smart object with different masks. And the reason for that is um, by using this method, it also lines up the waistband in addition to lining up the pocket. Um, so to do this, you'll double click on this smart object as well to open it. Now this is a PNG file um, and you'll have to eventually save this again as a PNG file. So if you work and add multiple layers within here, you'll have to eventually merge them and then save it um, because it can only save as one single layer. So the best way is actually to create your artwork in another program or another file and save it as a PNG. Um, and then after it's been saved, you can go to File, Place Linked, find your file and place. Your best bet is to fill up the entire artwork unless you're going to add a background color. So once you have your artwork in there, delete the original layer and then save by either going to File, Save, or doing Command S on a Mac or Control S on a Windows computer. So now that I've saved this, I can close this file. It'll close after it's done saving. You can see in the toolbar down here, it's still saving. So after this file saves, because it's a smart object, it will automatically update in the hoodie front template file that we opened it from, because uh, it's what's called a smart object. Um, and it's been placed and it's been linked there. So anytime you save this file, it automatically updates in the hoodie template. Have, you can see my front template is all ready to go. And you only have to update it once. Like I said, these two are linked. So you only have to add your art file to one of the smart objects and it will automatically update both. So now that I have my artwork in here, I wanna turn off the guidelines because I don't wanna save those because otherwise they'll print on the hoodie. So I'll turn off the guidelines and I need to do two different saves here. First, I'm gonna save the file just like we did the other one. And what that will do is it will update the artwork on the pocket template. But I also need to go to file, export, and export this file as either a JPEG or PNG, your preference, in order to have the front of my hoodie. So this file is going to be the front of my hoodie. Um, and don't worry about how the artwork is off like that. Again, um, that is so that the waistband lines up. So now that I've saved this file and exported it, my pocket file is correctly placed. So from here, I need to go to File, Export again, and export is either a PNG or a JPEG. And this will be the art file for the front pocket of the hoodie. So there you go, you're all set. You have your hoodie template and your pocket template.